Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Canvas Art, where you can dive into the fascinating world of visual art for both entertainment and education. Jean-Jacques Henner was born on March 5, 1829, in Bernvillers, a village in the southern part of Alsace, France. Coming from a farming family, Henner chose to maintain his French nationality after Alsace was annexed by Germany in 1871, though he remained deeply connected to his homeland, visiting annually. Hunter's talent was first recognized by his school drawing teacher. He later studied under Gabriel Guerin in Strasbourg and, with the support of a grant from the Oran Department Council, he continued his education at the prestigious École des Beaux-Arts in Paris under the guidance of Drolling and Pico. There, Henner received classical training, often visiting museums where he developed a deep admiration for Italian Renaissance masters like Titian, Raphael, and Correggio, as well as for artists such as Holbein, Ingres, Proudhon, and Corot. Upon returning from Rome, Henner initially focused on naturalism influenced by Manet and Degas. He exhibited La Toilette in 1868, but later destroyed it due to unfavorable reviews. Over time, Henner shifted from naturalism to painting idealized subjects drawn from an undefined classical antiquity with works titled After Pastoral Poetry, or classical myths like Idol, Eclogues, Biblis, and Nayad. By the 1870s, Henner had gained recognition as a successful artist and a sought-after portrait painter. He was elected a member of the Institut de France in 1889 and awarded the highest rank of the Legion of Honor in 1903. Although he submitted historical or religious subjects to the Salons and Universal exhibitions, such as Saint Sebastian, exhibited in 1888, he received few commissions. Yet. Many of his works were acquired by the French state for the Musée du Luxembourg and other major regional museums and were popular among private collectors like Alfred Chauchard.
Despite not fitting into the Academy's traditional ideals and facing criticism, compared to historical painters of his time, Henner was not interested in reconstructing history, nor focused much on narrative elements like decor or costumes. His unique blend of idealism, realism, and Renaissance influences paralleled the styles of his neo-Florentine sculptor friends, Paul Dubois and Alexandre Falguier. passed away in 1905, leaving behind a legacy where his works, widely known through engravings and photographs like L'Alsace, El Aton, and Fabiola, had become almost iconic. His unique style also led to his works being widely copied. Thank you so much for watching our video. Your support means the world to us. See you in the next video.